Thank you, Kevin. And I don't think any topic gets more questions than these CPA Alliance questions. And, you know, it, it's, it's amazing. If you haven't noticed already, I drive past my CPA's office every day. It's maybe a half a mile from my house. My CPA's car there, the parking lot was full this Saturday. It was half full on Sunday morning when I drove off to play tennis. I get into the office. I'm, I'm writing a new book right now. Yesterday I was in here at 7 o'clock in the morning. His car was there. I drove home last night at 7 p.m. His car was there. These CPAs, I don't think he is an aberration. These CPAs are working furiously right now. And now is the time. you got five more days or so, maybe six days, but to drop by some coffee and bagels, to bring some deli sandwiches, to do something that's nice, you know, that's meaningful, because you know they're working that hard on a Saturday, on a Sunday, or late in the afternoon. And, and why so? You're not really buttering them up necessarily. This is all about relationships. You've heard me say this before, relationship management, relationship marketing. I mean, it's truly a nexus. It's the relationship management, relationship marketing nexus. And the CPAs fall right within that nexus. Now, you know, our research continues to tell us from our focus groups to our surveys. We survey the affluent. We survey advisors. You know, we survey teams. You know, for our perspective here, what we find when, it, when it's the affluent, and by the way, the CPAs, you know, the majority of them meet the profile of the affluent. They have this big trust gap. You know, they need to trust, whether it's their advisor or whether it's the salesperson at the BMW place, the service desk, you know, in the Apple store, you know, or their financial advisor. They need to have this trust. And in the service arena, which is our arena, what we have found, and the elite advisors are mastering this, they have mastered the concept of mixing business with pleasure. Our 2013 Affluent Research highlighted this. Every year we have an aha. The aha this year was mixing business with pleasure. And I can't emphasize this enough. And this is not just with clients. What we emphasize with advisors, if you think of your CPA alliances, whether they've given you the amount of referrals you would desire or not, if you think of them just the way you think of your top affluent client, you're helping yourself. And every metric that we measure in our research with the affluent is strengthened and strengthened significantly when advisors mix business with pleasure. And these elite advisors have figured this out. And basically what they're doing is they find out that if they socialize with their affluent clients, they meet their, their affluent clients' friends, they penetrate their spheres of influence. If they socialize with their CPA partners and understand their families and, and the like, it accelerates referrals. It accelerates business growth. Now, Here's, again, our, our advisor research. You look at the marketing activities here, and this just tells you very, very clearly that referral alliances, you know, followed very, very closely by personal introductions, and really they're almost inextricably linked because these referral alliances, they are introducing clients to their advisors. So if you take that referral alliance, that personal relationship, and you look at personal introductions. Right there, you have everything you need. You add strategic networking, which is civic involvement and socializing. And who are you going to socialize with? You're going to socialize with you know, your referral alliance partners. You're going to socialize with your top clients. And you're going to socialize with any guests they might have. So right there is where we advise, and this is what we coach to, this is what we role play in our Rainmaker retreats. You know, how do we put structure around relationship management and relationship marketing, getting social. So, you know, let's, let's look at right here you're seeing, you know, sort of we have a model. You know, in the middle there is managing your core. That's managing the relationship. But, you know, at the bottom you have existing 
partners, existing CPAs, CPAs who you know, who you probably would like to have more referrals or a better relationship. But on the top, we have new partners, people who you, CPAs who you haven't, you know, ha interacted with yet, so CPAs who you'd like to sit down and have a chat with and develop the relationship. And they need to be handled, obviously, differently. So let's start here with the existing partners. And the first thing you want to do here is you got to take inventory. I mean, how well do you, do you know these individuals on a personal level? You know, how do you interact with them professionally? Now, when I say on a personal level, have you socialized with them? Do you know their spouse? Do you know what their children are all about? you know their hobbies, their likes, their dislikes? Professionally, have, have you received any referrals from the CPA Alliance? How many referrals have you provided to that? CPA Alliance. And, and then, you know, look back to the fa fact that, you know, if you have socialized, you know, when was the last time you socialized with them? So you really want to take inventory. Where do you stand right now? Have you already dropped off the, the bagels and coffee to the office or the deli sandwiches? Have you gone in and organized that you're going to have a celebratory, take out the, the CPA and spouse to dinner, you know, following you know, tax time, you know, April 15th. And then you got to schedule this, we call it a regroup meeting, you know, from your inventory, depending on what you discover, you know, what's available. Maybe they want to go, maybe they're, you know, they're sports fans and enjoy going to a minor league baseball game. Maybe you're going to have that little private social dinner celebrating, congratulating them on making it through tax season. But each one, maybe it's just a, a professional meeting where you're going to share a financial organizer. Everyone's going to have a little different regroup. But during that regroup is where you begin to manage your core. Now, we're basically in your mind, you're starting over, and we are going to develop stronger, healthier relationships on a personal side as well as conducting good business. Now, in, in the new partners, these new CPAs that are out there, they're not really new, but you know, how do you find them? You really got to cast a wide net. You know, I love this story about one of our elite advisor clients, a rainmaker. I mean, she, you know, she even had her CPA in one of our panels. And they're in the same community for over 20 years, and they didn't do any business. They kind of knew each other, but they weren't existing partners. There was no real business until the advisor who we've worked with contacted that CPA and said, you know, you know, we're both females professionals in the same community here. Why don't we just get together and have lunch so we can support one another, get to know one another? Well, that lunch led to the advisor inviting the CPA and husband over for a home-cooked meal. There was reciprocity where the CPA now invited the advisor and her husband to their home, her home, for another home-cooked meal. And from the lips of the CPA, it was after this relationship evolved on a personal level is when I started providing referrals. And now you know, she's number one on my list. So, you know, you know it's, it's, if we know who these people are, we have to sort of cast a wide net and determine, you know, do we have anything in common? You know, do, are, are there anything, you know, are, are there any you know, natural points of contact, or maybe we just have to call them up. But all you need are two or three, maybe four solid partners. And, you know, you, you establish these personal relationships, you know, as it's, it's a, it, it takes time. You can't rush this just because you're sitting down with the CPA for the first time. You're, you're explaining your process and how your process is superior to every other advisors in your town. Well, they've heard that before. What they haven't heard before is some advisor who's relaxed and confident, very good at developing rapport, not really getting into the business. Yeah, you have to have your expertise and you have to be able to articulate it clearly, especially when asked, but who starts developing the relationship. So, you know, here for the new partners, do your homework and schedule a meeting. You can ask your top clients who they're using. You should really already know those CPAs. You should already have met with them, but if you haven't, you can start there. But do your homework and schedule a meeting. You know, it's from that meeting that you then manage your core. 
and what you're seeing right here is the time you spent you know the quality of the time you spent managing your core accelerates the referrals and introductions that you're going to get from these partners this is not rocket science there's somehow an intimidation factor and yes a lot of advisors everybody under the sun has been knocking on the doors of CPAs for the past 20 years you know wanting to exchange clients and exchange referrals but rest assured you know elite advisors make this work and they make it work by developing the relationship by managing this core yes you have to provide outstanding business you have to be an outstanding professional that's a given that's a hygiene factor but on top of that because that's not good enough you know to, to get that trust no different than today's affluent this is why mixing businesses with pleasure is so important because the trust is so fragile today that when we get to know somebody on a personal level all barriers come down all defenses come down and all of a sudden it takes time all of a sudden you just accelerate the entire process now you know we'd love to see you in Fort Lauderdale you know join our rainmaker community we're having a retreat down there on the 16th and 17th uh, I'll be there I'll be conducting it for for two full days roll up your sleeves and if you if you dare come on down it's it's, it's a lot of fun but it's work and you will bring on more affluent clients.